For many years, people dreamed of owning a Mercedes-Benz for about $30,000, and now it has actually become a reality. We can now purchase a brand new Mercedes-Benz for about $30K. I would like to introduce the all-new 2016 Mercedes-Benz CLA 250 and Cirrus White packed with the AMG Sport body styling. Inspired by its trend-setting big brother, the CLS, the CLA is a near-verbatim translation of the acclaimed concept style coupe show core that captivated the international auto show circuit. Flowing curves are joined by crisp, sweeping arcs to create a three-dimensional sculpture that's enticing from every angle. Frameless door glass and expressive front fascia and top proportions define it as a true and truly modern Mercedes-Benz four-door coupe. The 208 horsepower 2.0-liter turbo 4 cylinder in the COA 250 combines numerous advances to deliver more power from less fuel. Its rapid multi-spark ignition and high-pressure direct injection can fine-tune themselves in milliseconds. Its twin scroll turbo quickly spins up to 230,000 RPM to boost response with all of the engine's 258 pound foot of torque on tap at just 1250 RPM. Here's the key fob to the car. On there, we have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button in red. There's also a switch at the bottom here in which you can switch to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock it, start it up, and let you listen to the exhaust note. The 2016 COA 250 does come equipped with a smart keyless access entry, so all you have to do is leave the keys in your pocket or purse. To unlock, simply put your hand behind the handle. And to lock, simply touch on the outer side right there. And of course, again, you can use the manual key also if you like. It does come with frameless doors. Here's a quick view of the interior. To start the engine, push your foot down the brake and press the start button located behind the steering wheel right here. Under the hood, the 2016 Mercedes COA 250 features a 2-liter turbo direct injection 4-cylinder engine. The 4-cylinder engine pushes out 208 horsepower along with 250 pound-foot of torque. It is in 7-speed transmission with manual shift paddles. The COA 250 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 6.9 seconds. As for fuel economy, the COA 250 gets 26 miles per gallon in the city, 38 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 30 miles per gallon. For a Mercedes, this is very impressive. The gas mileage will also vary depending on which driving mode you're in, Comfort, Sport, or Sport Plus. To further enhance gas mileage, the COA 250 is also equipped with the Auto Start and Stop feature, which will automatically shut off the engine when you come to complete stops such as red lights or traffic jams, and will instantly restart when you lift your foot off the brake. Up front, there's the Power Intermittent Windshield Wiper with adjustable speed. Moving down, we have the uniquely designed diamond block grille with the famous Mercedes-Benz 3-point store in the middle. On both sides are the beautifully designed by Xenon headlamps to deliver greater visibility than halogen headlamps because of their brighter, whiter light is much closer to natural daylight. Front bumper also have built-in parking sensors to notify the driver when the vehicle is close to hitting any object. Further down, there's the attractive sculpted front air dam that hugs the ground very nicely. Moving over to the side, there's the optional black side view mirror with integrated turn signal light, power adjustable feature including power folding, and the optional active blind spot assist that uses radar technology to detect vehicles in the blind spot and will alert the driver with warning tones and blinking the display on the side view mirror. The COA 250 comes standard with the 17 inch wheels. This specific one, however, comes with the optional 18-inch AMG multi-spoke alloy wheels with black finish. All four tires are 225, 45, or 18 high-performance all-season tires. Behind the wheels, there's the adaptive brake technology, anti-lock braking system, and the brake assist system. 
all four wheels are equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, there's the LED brake light behind the rear windshield. There's also the optional rear deck spoiler on top of the trunk. Moving down, we have the fiber optic LED tail lamp with LED brake light and LED turn signal light. LED technology offers much quicker illumination, thus giving the driver behind you more time to react. We also have the optional rear view camera that is built into the rear that will automatically turn on when the car is put into reverse, giving the driver a complete view of what's behind the vehicle. Now let's go ahead and pop open the trunk and see what's inside. As you can see, it's very spacious. Inside we have all the uh, car mats there. On this side we have a hook there. One on the end over there and two additional one over here. Have a little compartment on this side. Trunk lighting. And if you ever happen to lock yourself inside the trunk, you can simply press this button to release yourself. More trunk lighting. And to close the trunk, you simply have to close it manually. As for the gas tank, just make sure the car is unlocked and all you have to do is push in to open. And it is recommended by Mercedes to use premium unleaded gasoline only. This is a very nice car to own. Here's a complete view at the top. This one does come with the panorama sunroof. Looks extremely nice blacked out. And here it is with the tilt function on. As you can see, you're very sporty. There's also roof mounts on top, which allows you to carry extra luggage on top. There's two on each side for a total of four. And here it is with the sunroof fully open. And again, this is one of my favorite features about the Mercedes. Look how sporty and cool it looks. Very aggressive also. Now for a closer look at what we have on the driver's side door. Very nice style design. On top we have the door lock and unlock button, front seat control with up to three memory setting for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. Next we have four power window control, at the bottom we have the window lock button and on top we have the side view mirror control, side door storage compartment and inside here we have your re uh, trunk release lever, Mercedes Benz door seal, brake and gas pedal and way back there is a red lever in which you can pull down to open the front hood, power parking brake. Here's to control the bulgeness of the back. This one also comes with the manual lumbar support. Very sporty front seat design. As you can see, there's an opening here. And I'll go ahead and show you the uh, manual lumbar support here. It's pretty different from other vehicles. Simply press that black knob up below there. Adjustable seat belt placement, smooth seat belt, but it's not as smooth as the S Class, and you can tell it's tremendous different, of course. Here's a quick look of the uh, passenger seat. Same style design as the front door frame this door again, power window control, 
side door compartment. And again, I am five foot seven, so this will give you a better idea of how much leg space you'll have sitting in the back. Here's a complete view of the front. And if you're a big guy, um, if you weight over 170 pounds or anywhere taller than me, you'll feel kind of packed back here. 12 volt cartridge outlet, two additional air vents there. And there's no back seat compartment. The middle portion is raised up here. And let's see what we have here. Two additional cup holders for the rear. Very nicely designed. Here's a closer look at the back seat. Also very sporty looking. Here's the built-in latch system for you to safely secure down your baby seat. On top we have the hand bore. And directly above our head is the light control. Here's our sunroof and we're back in the driver's seat here we have the three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel over here we have the different control which allows you to control everything that's going to be displayed here on the digital dash mercedes-benz logo in the middle with the horn voice command option on this side with audio volume control and bluetooth phone answering option gear shift paddle one on the right and another on the left Here's our gear shift box to control, push your foot down the brake, light down to put the car into neutral, heavy down to put the car into drive, light up back to neutral, heavy up to put the car into reverse, and when you do so, rear view camera will automatically display here on the screen with guided lines which move according to the movement of the steering wheel. And to park, simply press the button on the end. Over here we have your left and right turn signal and twisted knob on the end to control the uh, windshield wiper. Here's your cruise control. And pull this lever down to control the steering wheel placement. You can move it up, down, away from you or towards you. And uh, to lock it back into place simply push this lever back up. Here's your driver air vent. Very futuristic looking. Headlamps control. And lastly, there's your power parking brake. On top, we have your driver's sun visor with a small credit card clip on the side with a light and a mirror. Light turn on and off according to open and closure of the mirror. And you can move this over to the side for better sun coverage. Moving over to middle here, we have the beautiful navigation system display You can opt for the bigger size, but it is an optional feature. Three more air vent. Here's your engine start and stop button. And again, this piece is removable and most people, a lot of people don't notice that. In the middle, we have your audio control. Here's your volume control. You press down on it to turn it on and off. That's where you insert your CD. Over here, we have the different display selection. There's a telephone view. Look like there's no memory card for the navigation in here yet, so I can't show it to you. Here's a vehicle setting view. Looks very nice. And this knob is multi-directional and twistable, and you can also press down on it to select, and you use this knob to control everything here. Look very futuristic also. Down here, here we have your front seat heating control. 
same goes there has a light in the middle and next to it we have the auto start and stop button press once to turn it on or off and this button is used to control the different driving modes as you can see comfort sport or individual will also display on the screen here dual AC heat climate control here we have another 12 volt car charger outlet along with an ashtray right next to it single cup holder and another cup holder here and we've already talked about this middle armrest compartment you can slide it up for better feel of the armrest and inside we have a uh, small storage compartment in here we do have a USB input glove box compartment and now to show you complete view of the dash Moving on up, we have your rear view mirror, which also show you a compass direction of which direction you're heading to. Those three buttons are used to close and open your house garage doors. You simply input the codes in there. And the roadside assistant button there for emergency users only. Further up, we have a uh, spot for you to put your glasses. Light control on both sides and in the middle and in the center here is your sunroof control very nice all right guys that's all for today thanks everyone for watching and as always make sure to leave me comments and feedback as to what you think about the score below for more future core reviews go ahead and subscribe to this channel and remember to give our videos a thumbs up also make sure to check out our official facebook page for everyday activity again thanks everyone for watching and i'll see everyone in the next video review